Ten, Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Release the cars. Release, release the, the cars. cars. Okay, we have a go. And uh, everybody you, is doing great, uh, at Keep least the five first positions. Kanas is first. On Garry second. Rone Falk in third. Rone Falk rolls and is dead last. Uh, Rone Falk uh, already lost almost everything. He will have uh, hard work to do. But at the top, uh, Kanas uh, goes uh, one. On Garo goes to Coelho is now third, opens up and it is now Ricky Berton in third place. Okay, relax everyone, not even one minute has started. Canas under pressure from On Garo, we will concentrate here. Berton third, Coelho fourth. And Batye is fifth, there's the experienced Spanish. Okay. This is a world's uh, final, guys. Yeah, minus some drivers. But uh, these ones could easily be in the final of a world championship. That's it. It can't go better. Kana says works in first place. Ongaro associated in second place. Ricky Berton, little bit behind in third place with the Infinity prototype. Under pressure from Coelho. And uh, then it's uh, Batye. Cutler, watch out. Canas is under pressure. I hope my camera work is okay because it is so much fun. The two guys are already doing a small straight uh, ahead of the amazing driver Berton. So imagine how fast they are going. Canas and Ongaro. Not even fighting at this moment. Maybe they're just talking to each other and saying, let's move oh, on, Kattler, let's make a difference, again. and then we fight. Don't do that again. Okay, this Kattler. is a joke. They would never talk to yourself. To themselves on the podium. They want to win. I'm excited, so... Let's uh, leave the driving to the talking. For a while. a mistake for Ongaro. That's five meters. That's a huge difference. A huge breath of air from Canas. That's refueling, remember. So that's one straight for the Spanish driver ahead. This is a big chance for Spain this year to get a world champion. They got Canas, they got Batier, they got more guys at Redovan at the world championship. But here we are at IBC 22 in Portugal. One of the best events of the year. This time combined with the EFRA Eurose warm-up. What warm-up? This is world level racing. That's not warming up guys.
Obrigado, Ricardo. 14 minutes to drive. Something's wrong in my... Uh, what I'm seeing here. Oh, nothing's wrong. It's just uh, Barufolo that has a car that resembles to Canas and... Uh, I was uh, really afraid I was making a mistake, but uh, this is Barufolo, and this is Ongaro second, and this is Canas uh, first, so everything okay. Canas, first place. Just moving ahead from Ongaro, and just imagine that Ongaro is like one of the best or the best driver in the world. Okay, one of the best. And uh, this difference of uh, two corners now is huge. Oh, Canas made the mistake. Ongaro goes first. That's it. We talk too much. Yeah, don't say yes. So, Ongaro now first. Ongaro now first. Another mistake from Canas. He tried to catch up and he's cut up himself by Ricky Berton with the Infinity prototype. So, Canas was a little bit faster, but he made the mistake. Normally, and that's normally, he could go away from Berton, but uh, he wants to catch up with Ongaro, so he must step on the gas, because Ongaro is here already. A big gap. Let's follow the world champion. Remember, he already won the amazing uh, first uh, A final of the E buggies. And uh, there he goes. First in the Nitro IBC 22 final. Let's wait to see what is second. Second Canas is here. Third Berton is here with the Infinity. So associated one. Someone is out. No. It's good. All good guys. On Garo. He has some back markers. The young Pariente. Oh, Probably okay. he will open. Right. He opens. Very fair play and very nice. On Garo on a mission to win everything. And on Garo, on Garo goes into the pits for his first refueling. That's the refueling from on Garo, and he goes very nicely done. Cool and calm. Somebody shouting on the stand, but it's not the first place guy who is just cruising away after his first refueling. More people are refueling. We will have to wait and see what's going on because now. It will change, so give us one or two minutes to see who will stay in first after this healing. This is Canas. Right now in first place. Normally he should be fuel. Maybe now. But that's a lot later than uh, Ongaro, so let's see what will happen. Of course, the strategy in the pits uh, plays uh, a hugely important uh, role uh, where every second counts. Nope. Did he refuel? Yeah, everybody's asking, but uh, I'm sorry to say that... Uh, Open the door, door, car number four. Car, thank Canas you. Canas is first. <coughs> where is on Garo? Ongaro is there, just behind. This is Ongaro, associated in second place. So, does Canas need fuel? Yep, Canas is getting in. Probably he will lose his first place. Canas is refueling, Ongaro is passing. His dad is calmly putting the fuel and Canas is gone. Back to second. 
or back to something else. They need to cross the line to confirm. 25 minutes okay. to drive. Top drivers uh, refuel. This is... New leader car 2, Ongaro. new leader car 2, then 1. 2, 1, 7 and... Okay, still second, but uh, they will cross the line. Now he crosses the line. Him, we lost him uh, and there he is. We found him. On Garo. Car 12. Lapping someone. And uh, according to the monitor, it is Ricky Berton that is in first place. It's possible he has not refueled yet. It's not possible. It's too much. Berton, Kilik are in front. Uh, when they will refuel, that's not logical. A big suspense for this event, for the final. Nah, we refresh. So, Ongaro is in person. Kanasin in second, but he is in third. So after all the refueling is done, this surprise is Batye in third. Car number four, open the door. Thank you. This is Kanas in second. And this is Ongaro in first. Now the difference of the two top drivers is just five meters. Back to racing. Less than one straight. This is on Garo. The orange car is uh, way back. And this is Kanas in second place. They were close, but it seems that. Uh, oops, sorry for that. It seems that Ongaro is. Uh, car 12, give way. Car 12, give way. The car again. 12, give way. Now, Kanas uh, needs to pass the door, you can. Car, and uh, they are in the Top same ring, so. Open the door, please. Maybe he's losing some time there. The race director just uh, has to. Uh, Perfect. He's opening, uh, being thanked, and goodbye. So. Kanas now on a mission. So good to see these guys. They make it seem easy. Ongaro, first place. Easing his way uphill. Back straight, what? Track is clear. We are live from IBC 20. Watch out in the back straight. Uh, okay, in okay, Barcelo, that's in it. Portugal. An event that is brought clear. to you from our technical team. Amazing guys, doing the live with uh, five cameras at least. From uh, Costas, myself, for our special com. Somebody is out. The young Pariente is out. Let's go with second place. Juan Carlos Canas. Now the difference is uh, like let's count in seconds. Like uh, this is on Garo. One, two, three, four, five seconds difference. It's huge. It's not easy. You cannot do this gap at this level. But. Uh, there's around 38 minutes left. 
or something like that. Thirty minutes to drive. Back to Canas. S works. Red racing. TQ of this IBC 22 final. And uh, this is on Garo. It's not on Garo. On Garo goes in. Second refueling already. Time flies. His dad gets the car. He pistols the fueling. And he's gone. Very nice. The Italian world champion. This is Canas. We will wait to see his refueling as now he's in first place. Maybe a wobble for Ramon Garo would keep him uh, in first, but uh, it will not happen. Canas, not enter for fuel. Normally, Canas is on a less fuel door, stop, please. so this may play on his favor. So Perfect. let's see what happens. Will Canas enter for fuel now? I don't know. Everyone is agonizing. What will Canas do? Ooh, he didn't enter. So many more laps than on Garo. I hope he did not enter before, but I think not. It's like before, I mean, he does uh, at least four extra laps. So, the Nitro guys uh, know better, but uh, that means he won the fuel stop. So, Ongaro must Stop really it. make a difference. Remember, it's a 45 minutes final. Ooh, a mistake! And he has no fuel in the tank! Okay, the Marshal gets him, but that was a much... That was a match? That was a what? Canas still in second. Okay, will he refuel or not? Hello? Okay, Juan Carlos. If he's not entering this time, we're moving to someone else. I mean, get some fuel, guy. I think we missed his refueling. It's impossible. Ongaro is first, Kanas is second. So, we probably missed it. Yeah. Sorry for that. Okay, let's go find Ongaro. There is Ongaro. Ongaro. Davide Ongaro. World champion in first place. Here at IBC Barcelos 2022. The best of the best of the European drivers are here. And it will not finish today. Tomorrow the same. EFRA Euro warm up A final. So, Ongaro is catching up some uh, back markers. Uh, how can you call them back markers in the final? I mean, they're so fast. Doing the hurting. It's a big group of people, so... He must... Uh, they must open to him, but they still are racing each other, so... Easily cruising through the guys in the air, and uh, he already passed uh, two back markers, and uh, he goes for the others. Ongaro is first, uh, Kanas is second. 
Two more to go. Get it. Uh, David Ongaro Racing Associated OSONG Engine. The leader behind you. That's something uh, that you don't want to hear or uh, you just accept. Okay. Nicely done. Uh, one to go. One back marker to go for Ongaro. We will stay with him. He's through. And one more in front. And Ongaro easily passed to everyone. So let's wait for uh, Juan Carlos Canas. Uh, back, 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 back. There he goes. This is just the second place, and it's going so fast. In third place, it's uh, Rone Falk uh, during this time, so it's uh, this guy. Let's follow Rone Falk uh, and his uh, Mayako machine uh, just for a bit. Third place for uh, Rone Falk. That was, uh, yeah, that was Barufolo. So we will uh, find the leader. There is Ongaro. David Ongaro, Associated. OS. First place. IBC 22 at Barcelos. Nothing gets in his way. Well, it would be nice that something got in his way so we can see some actual racing. We have the suspense of what can happen, but uh, the cars are so nicely prepared that uh, what can happen? Another fuel stop for Ongaro. Going easily in the other hand. Uh, Refueling with a gun and uh, go. Yeah, faster than our camera. So now I would like to see when Canas is going in. So Canas is over there. Is it Barufolo again? Oh my. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so this is uh, Batye. This is Ber. Ah, they enter together and uh, they go out together. So, this is the Guerrero. He will stop. Nicely done by his father. Jose. He checked the engine. Everything okay. And someone is out. It must be Berton. Did Berton flame out? This is uh, Barufolo. A calm, uh, normal, nice uh, fuel uh, run. And there he goes. So, back to the leader. Where is the leader? The leader is. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Well, not back to the leader, back to second place. Canas. It's always on Garo, Canas, Ronefal. And this is Canas. Now, let's see the difference with the leader. 
We will count seconds, okay? On Garo. One, two, three, four, five seconds again. Okay. After all the refueling, all the back markers, five seconds. Five seconds for the glorious third place. Let's watch Kanas pushing. Kanas driving uh, an S works with a uh, red racing uh, engine. This is like pure joy of driving. This is making you want to drive a one HK buggy, guys. Okay, let's do the same with the leader uh, on Garo, David. Uh, let's find him, but before finding him, finally, we will see a fuel stop from Kanas. Easy and cool, another father uh, son edition. Uh, let's go. All right, so now we must find uh, David on Garo. We go in front, in front, in front, in front, in front. Uh, Yep, uh, nope, uh, no, nope. not so easy, there he goes, that's a big gap, he was down the straight. Maybe we we'll check out the monitor and uh, we will try to follow the Italian. Well, it's one of the... First times that I actually follow Ongaro, like, uh, okay, no driving, but I follow him, so it's even hard to follow with a video camera. Imagine if you try to follow him with your buggy. David Ongaro, his uh, father, has the famous Ongaro ring in Italy, a track where the the David uh, made his first steps. Recently the track has been uh, completely redesigned. So you're watching the IBC 22 final. Nitro final, 45 minutes of joy. 
Your leader is David Ongaro, associated OS. Your technical crew for live streaming. And uh, Kostas, myself, uh, from marsyspecial.com. And uh, this is Ongaro going inside for a fuel stop to refresh. Remember, 16% nitro from this year. Zero difference. Okay, now rise. Same lap times. Maybe the engines even like it. So, first place, still David Ongaro with a big gap. Well, we will have some fun and uh, Savoia flamed out. The French uh, European champion uh, flamed out. That's sad. But they will uh, get it working, I guess. So, one more lap with the leader, uh, David Ongaro, and then we go second and third place to enjoy their own driving. That's 32 minutes gone, so for a 40, 45 minutes final. Let's find uh, Kanas. Kanas, 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 there is Kanas. I think it's Kanas, it's not Kanyas or Kanya or Kana. Kana may be the correct, uh, okay, our Spanish friends we know. Juan Carlos Canas, uh, second place, as works uh, Reds Racing, okay. doing all he can. Second place is not enough for these drivers. That's it, that's the final of the IBC 22. So the podium is nice, but first place is nicer. So, let's find the third place man. David Ronefalk. It must be this guy. Okay, this is David Ronefalk. Confirmed. Driving uh, Mayako. And uh, using, as he told us, a Corsatec uh, engine. Mayako is a new brand on the market. And uh, We lost him. Where is he? Where are you, David? There is David. Sorry for that. So, Mayako is a new brand on the market. And uh, Corsatec is also a new brand on the market. They are engines and uh, it seems uh, Andrea Bertin is the uh, mind uh, 
behind the brand. So, Bertin, a long time uh, mechanic uh, and uh, setup uh, and engine helper with uh, David. Uh, they continue at least in the uh, Corsatec uh, Nitro engine uh, and the Corsatec electronics uh, situation. And uh, okay, in uh, the final of the brushless, the round one, it did not go very well, but uh, here in Nitro, uh, they are in uh, third place for now. Let's see what happens. It's okay, third place, of course, but uh, for a world champion, uh, as is David Ronenfalk, uh, is not enough. Uh, 35 minutes, uh, so 10 minutes to go in this final. Positions on Garo first, Kanas uh, second, <laughs> and uh, David Ronefalk, uh, we can see here, is third. Ronefalk uh, just uh, going past Savoya, who is back in the game after his flame out. Something's going on. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, nope, that must be Elliot Boots uh, with uh, an issue, so Boots is out. Ongano, Kanas, uh, and who is that person? Okay, he's not one of the leaders. Let's uh, do some uh, Riccardo Berton, Ricky Berton from Italy, Infinity Prototype, in uh, fourth place. We will find him, he's somewhere hiding in the track. So, until we find him, we can follow. Yeah, you. Ah, we found him. Very nice. It just took us uh, like a million seconds, but uh, this is uh, Ricky Berton. Fourth place in this IBC 22 final with the Infinity Prototype. Let's enjoy his driving like uh, six minutes uh, to the end of this uh, IBC 22 final. Last year it was uh, Davide Ongaro who won. For now, he just repeats, but uh, five minutes is a whole long way, so let's see what happens. We are driving with uh, Ricky Berton, European champion and uh, great Italian driver. Of course, uh, Italy has a long... Uh, history of successful drivers, seniors and juniors, and the new generation is coming up. They seem to be helping each other uh, in Italy, like uh, mechanically speaking, setup speaking, and uh, driving speaking. For sure they must have their political issues, but uh, at the end they always get champions, so something is, uh, is done nicely. Ricky Berton, not on the podium for now, but uh, an amazing fourth place and a finish for the young Italian. At the same time, uh, Ongaro cruises around the track in first place, just lapping back markers easily. I don't want to say that he lapped uh, the third place guy, but uh, I think he did. And he just drives away. There is no solution for Davido. What will they do tomorrow? How will the other drivers react for the Euros warm-up final tomorrow, Sunday? I mean, somebody must do something about this Italian. We need 45 minutes of action. We don't need uh, Davide in front. 
Of course, we need David in front. He is the world champion. And uh, young Pariente is out again. He's okay, he's young. So, let's go. Ooh, Barufolo with his uh, Techno RC machine is out again. Or for the first time. At the same time, Ongaro, Kanash, Ronefalk are the top three and we will ride with uh, Juan Carlos Canas, if we can find him. Where is Juan Carlos Canas? Where are you, Juan Carlos? Where is Juan Carlos? Ah, there is Juan Carlos. He tried to go away from our camera, but uh, it's impossible. RC Special and the IBC crew are everywhere. I mean, you can't escape. Around four minutes to go. This is second place driver, Juan Carlos Canas. says works Reds Racing Engine from Spain. There's not much he can do really, he just cruises to second place. Bruno, watch out. In front of Only one line. thing can happen to someone and this is uh, David Ongaro. And uh, he probably can win, that's what will happen. So, three minutes to go. Let's follow the world champion. Sorry for that, that is David Ongaro. Two minutes to go for another legendary win at the IBC 22 for the Italian world champion and winner of uh, last year's IBC 22, which was also amazing. Remember that tomorrow we will have uh, even more racing because the EFRA Euros A warm-up final will be held right here at Barcelos. A few more laps, a few more seconds for Davide Ongaro who still pushes hard. Risks taken but uh, I guess calculated. There's no one that can come even close to this guy for now, for today, but for tomorrow it will be another story, because TQ is still Tanas. He will start in front. Samod is upside down, Ongaro breaks, avoids, uh, and uh, back to the straight for one of his final laps. One minute to drive.
on Garo, cruising with his associated OS machine towards uh, another win at IBC 22. This is uh, the IBC crew, this is Kostas, this is rcspecial.com and this is Davide on Garo. We will probably take another lap. Oh, he took the lap. So, yeah, it didn't finish yet, uh, but uh, okay. There's no hope. He will win. He's the best here for today. So, let's follow Davide Ongaro for his last and final lap at IBC 22, winning the event with his associated OS machine. Very nice. What is the Italian? Two, one, three. Time is over. Six and Race seven. Finish. Two, one, three, six and seven. Those have been your leaders. Davide, Don't congratulations. Thank you. Thank Was you. it an easy win? No, no we had, um, eh? we had uh, the last two stop the hint. Yes. Yeah? But we are tomorrow we try to have uh, the same two stop the, the hint to see. If it, uh, okay. But yeah, we're okay. How do you find the track, uh, Davide? Uh, like I said uh, to other guy, uh, during the midday, the track has uh, more grip because of, uh, of the sun. But now I think it's better than this morning. Yeah. Congratulations, see you tomorrow. Thank you, bye.